Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I wanted to clear up some of the confusion. I've been receiving a lot of emails. I've been reading comments as to what T-Mobile's 5G plans really are. So a lot of people are expecting a couple of 5G capable phones uh, starting early this year, which is true. One is coming out by LG, the other one by Samsung but none of those phones are going to be 600 megahertz 5g capable the x50 is going to support millimeter wave high band spectrum which as some of you know t-mobile does not have a lot of spectrum in the high band space so t-mobile's 600 megahertz 5g capable network won't be able to be made use of until later on this year when Qualcomm releases a 5G modem that can make use of the NR technology using the 600 megahertz band 71. So my guess is it will probably on the flagship side be the Galaxy Note 10 or whatever they're going to call it. And if a phone does release in the middle of the year that can make use of it, it will probably be a mid-range phone from Samsung or LG. Now, um, this is going to probably uh, push T-Mobile back a little bit on uh, re releasing the uh, 5G markets that they want to that they want to do uh, this year. I know there are a couple of markets where they do own millimeter wave spectrum, so those are the markets that they're probably going to announce. Uh, New York, I've seen some of the equipment. Um, LA, I believe so too. So if you get one of the flagship phones that come out this year that are capable of 5G you will be able to make use of it in those markets. But if you're waiting on the broader, more coverage uh, type 5G, that won't be able to be made use of until later this year. So this all hints towards uh, T-Mobile's plan on rolling out a nationwide 5G in 2020. But as of right now, early on, there will not be a phone that is capable of making use of T-Mobile's 600 megahertz 5G and R network. Now, the phones that are coming out uh, early on this year will still be able to make use of band 71 600 megahertz, but that will be used for LTE. Remember, T-Mobile plans on using a slice of the spectrum for LTE and then the other slice of the 600 megahertz for 5G. So I just wanted to uh, make this quick video to clear up some of the confusion. I will leave this article in the description down below so you guys can check it out but there will not be a 600 megahertz 5G capable phone until later 2019. And then more phones will come out early in 2020. Also, I do not expect Apple to have any 5G phone this year. I do not expect Apple to have a 5G phone capable until 2020, around September or that time frame, whenever they uh, usually uh, release their phones. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell if you're new so you're notified for all these updates. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.